In today's video, I'm going to take you on a quick and easy guide to cleaning your door shuts, where I'll be taking you through the basics, and we're not going to go majorly in depth today, but we're just going to cover what I normally do when I carry out an exterior valet. Normally when you valet a car, it's best to get everything out, including the mats, but because it is a quick demo, we won't be touching anything inside the car. And I tend to recommend cleaning the door shuts before you do the bodywork because there is a little bit of splashing involved so the door shut cleaning process comes in between the wheels and the bodywork. Before you get started make sure you have the following a bucket of shampoo with some soft pre-soak brushes, some citrus pre-wash, a pressure washer and some drying towels. Step 1. Open the doors and turn down the pressure washer and give them a rinse to shift off any loose dirt. Now if you can't turn the pressure washer down, make sure you've got a steady hand so you don't get loads of water inside the car. It looks like you make a mess, but as long as you keep a controlled hand, you should be fine. Once you're happy that enough has been removed, you can then use several different products, but for today, we're going to be sticking with a citrus pre-wash, which has been diluted down to four parts water and one part citrus. And I'm going to spray the door shuts lightly and allow a minute or two just for the chemical to do its magic. Step 3. Use a brush and start agitating gently. Now some people tend not to use brushes but instead go for wash mitts in a separate bucket to the wash bucket. So you can do it how you feel is best and I'll list everything in the description below plus I'll put some really good recommendations below as well. Step 4. Once you've given the door jams a good scrub it's time to give them a rinse and a top tip for anybody doing this is to make sure that you keep old towels inside where the mats may go and what this is going to basically do is catch any water that might occur from splashing and instead of getting the carpets wet it's going to go straight into the mats so it can save you in the long run and it does help especially during the winter time okay so we've now tackled the door shuts let's move on to the boot shut and it is really important and i cannot stress this enough you need to turn off your pressure washer and that's because you don't really want to be splashing getting the headlining all wet it's the worst possible thing you can do so make sure the pressure washer is off but keep the hose running whether you decide to turn off the pressure washer is completely up to you personally if you feel confident enough with the pressure washer on then keep it turned down just to reduce the amount of water and i'm just spraying more citrus on the shuts and also you can clean the rubber seals while you're at it and keep those brushes lubricated at all times so either dip it into your spare bucket or spray the brushes and don't forget to rinse the brushes as you go in case you pick up any trapped grit. So I'm at a point where I'm happy with the cleaning process, so I'm now going to dry and protect them with a product that I feature on Instagram all the time because of its insane gloss, and that's Yum Ceramic. And not many people go for polishing the door shuts because you always find those odd little bits of water that drip down. So that's why I use ceramic detailers instead because you get no powder and definitely no mess. So this is the best way that you can protect your door shuts. It will give you a fair few months protection and the great thing about it is you can spray it on while the door shuts are wet. So this is going to be a real simple process. We're actually going to use this like a drying aid. Normally one to two squirts will be enough for each door jam and you simply wipe it dry and you're left with some epic results. And if you're just joining us for the first time you can go back and watch my previous two videos in this mini series where we tackle the engine bay and wheels of this Audi Q7. One of the things that I like to do when I'm doing this is keep dedicated towels that you just use for your wheels and your arches because the last thing you want to do is use your really nice fancy towels that you're going to use on the bodywork and then use them on the arches because then you could I mean it, it does happen to everybody you can get the odd bit of grit that you do miss you are a human being it's not going to be a hundred percent perfect so just make sure that you've got spare dedicated towels if you want to do it right perfect well that about wraps it up for today's episode join us for the next one as I'm going to be showing you guys how to successfully pre-wash your car I'll see you later Bye-bye.